Hi, I want to talk about artificial intelligence and how it relates to tablet gaming and, and phone gaming. You know, back in the day, you really could only play Snake, Solitaire, more, maybe even, you know, some sort of Frogger if you really had a nice phone. But now, with the development of, you know, smartphones and iPhones and Blackberries and Droids and all that, you can really, you know, play almost quality, Call of Duty Xbox-style games on there at your own command. But at the same time, while, you know, technology has gotten better and graphics have gotten better on the tablets and phones, you know, the games have almost regressed into a different style. You can play, the most popular games now are Words with Friends, Draw Something, and Checkers with Friends, which is basically just an average, you know, board game that doesn't create all that much. But where it stresses is the artificial intelligence in face-to-face -face interaction with somebody, you know, a thousand miles away. Two main points that I found while researching this topic were that AT&T is developing software to create games that you can just voice command and finger command in the air, you know, almost 10 feet away across the room. They've put over 100,000 man hours into this, and they're working on it to release on some of their phones and everything. Computer and peripheral games are, you know, really the driving force in that part of the market just because of the amount of people that want to buy that kind of stuff and play games such as that. And it's also the hardest to replicate just because of the amount of things that it takes to, you know, set it up and get it to work on such tiny devices. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of Draw with Friends, or I should say Draw Something. My friend drew a grenade. She lives, my friend lives in Philadelphia. She drew this, and it came all the way to me in Westchester. You know, she draws something. I have to guess it right here. And, you know, this is on one of the basic tablets, too. So needless to say, you know, it's come a long way in technology.